Welcome back to the Boot Tragedies. The Saints wrap up their final preseason game and, in my opinion, a very, very impressive preseason from a lot of people involved, man. We'll kind of go through this last game first and we'll talk about some things leading up to the season. Starting off with the two quarterbacks, Jameis Winston went out there 11 for 16, 93 yards, one touchdown, a touchdown pass to Jimmy Graham on a really, really good drive. Uh, him and Jimmy Graham showed some connection, which makes sense. Jimmy Graham, you know, one of the backup tight ends, Jameis Winston, the backup quarterback. So their chemistry has probably been looking really nice in practice. It finally showed up in the game. That was really, really good uh, connection from those two. Then you got Jake Hayner. Uh, Jake Hayner, who's come in with rave reviews, man, out of practice and things like that. But guess what? That's why they play the games. Now, I'm not going to sit here and kill Jake Hayner. He's a rookie quarterback, a guy that's not going to play in the NFL. This is basically a red shirt season for him. So I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I expected him to be, you know, Drew Brees out the gate or something like that. Some people, especially the Saints fan base, we tend to get these quarterbacks in the fourth and fifth round, and we just hype them up like they're going to be the next franchise guy. We did it with, uh, with I think it's Garrett, Grant, Garrett Grayson, something like that. Grayson, can't remember, remember his first name right now for some reason, just because he wasn't memorable. Then we had Ian Book. Now you got Jake Hayner. Let's just slow down. Let's just slow the road. We don't have to just jump to conclusions on these guys. Uh, let these guys develop. But still in all, Jake Hayner didn't have the greatest of games last night. 17 for 38, 172 yards. Two interceptions, got sacked two times. The quarterback rating of 36.8. That's just not good football. Uh, through back-to-back -back interceptions, interception to basically end the game for the Saints. So he's going to have to be better. But let him develop. Give him some time. It's never going to be a one-year project. It was never going to be a two-year project. If he's going to be a guy in the NFL, then maybe he'll you know, be a guy in the NFL three to four years down the line. I don't know why. So many people have been saying, hey, get rid of Jameis Winston. We got Jake Hayner. Get rid of this. We got Jake Hayner. No, that's not the case. The guy, the rookie quarterback who played at a small school, he's not going to be ready for the NFL for at least a couple years. Let's just stop jumping out the window. Let's stop jumping to conclusions about guys that are going to be really, really good in the NFL, especially at the quarterback position. You can have guys translate, you know, from maybe the receiver position, the running back position, even sometimes on the O-line, D-line, but it's always going to be tough. Look at Trevor Penny. It's going to take him some time, you know, to transition. He's been looking good this preseason, but... You can't just throw guys from these small schools out there and just think they're going to be successful uh, day one. Obviously, you have outliers to the rules. You got Josh Allen and things like that. But it's just not going to happen. Look at Trey Lance, a guy that didn't play football a lot, came to the NFL. He's already off his team. So for you to think Jake Hayner is just going to walk into the Saints building and be better than Jameis Winston and have a chance to be the backup quarterback, it's just not realistic. And realistically, he's the fourth guy on the roster. It's going to be Carr. It's going to be Jameis Winston. It's going to be Taysom Hill. Then it's going to be Jake Hayner. And that's no shot at Jake Hayner. Maybe he has potential to be a starting quarterback in this league, but let's let's not pretend that it's now. Let's stop pretending that it's now. I know he's out there playing with the backups and things like that, so you don't really get the full picture of him, but he's not going to be ready to play quarterback in NFL right now. And that's just the case, and it's no shot to him. It's nothing wrong with that at all. It's nothing wrong with that at all. I think he got some, some really, really good tools, some really, really good traits to be a successful quarterback. Right now, it's just not the time. Maybe next season it'll be a big jump, and then maybe he can you know be the backup quarterback next year. But for right now, it's just not the case, but I do really, really like some of the tools and traits he has. Now look at the running game. Um, running game wasn't that great. Let's just be honest. Offensive line, bad, bad out there. Very, very bad out there. So you got like Kendrick Miller, eight carries, 14 yards, 1.8 yards a carry. You can't put that on him. You cannot put that on him. If you watch the game, he's getting hit four yards into the backfield. I'm surprised he got positive yardage, to be honest. It was that bad. Offensive, the run game, which is very, 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 very bad. Um, there is... Ellis Merriweather, 8 carries, 32 yards, 4.0 yards a carry. That's a little, little better. I'm fine with him being running back three when the season starts, by the way. If they're going to go Jamal Williams, Elvin Kamara, and Merriweather, I'll be 100% fine with that. I think he had a really, really good pre and He showed that he had a chance to make this roster. Now, will the Saints do that? Will they go out and get someone else? I don't know. But I think he had a really, really good showing in this preseason. I like what I saw from him. So hopefully he can make this team for the first three games at least. Then whenever Kamara comes back, obviously it's going to go a little different. Or maybe he stays. Maybe he you know, turns to a special team guy. Maybe you just go crazy those first three weeks and you, you know, force the Saints to, to keep you. Who knows? But I do really, really like him. He had a really, really good preseason. Uh, Adam Prince is in there. Two carries, 18 yards. Obviously, he's going to be the starting fullback when the season starts. He's a really, really good fullback for us. Now, the receivers. A very, very interesting um, game from the receivers. Uh, you got Shaq Davis, two catches, 18 yards on six targets. A.T. Perry, three catches, 12 yards. Those two guys, I wish, you know, they they showed, they showed up the last game. I wish, you know, one of them could have had a breakout game to kind of secure a spot on this roster. Um, but Lucas Crawl, man, seven catches, 106 yards, 15 targets. He was absolutely going crazy. Him and Jake Hayner, like I said, those backup, those third stringers, he got he got report with him. Just how I say Jameis Winston looked good with Jimmy Graham. 
it makes sense that, you know, Jake Hayner's going to look good with Lucas Crow. They're, they're practicing together the most. They're throwing the ball to each other the most. He found that rapport with him, got that connection with him, that chemistry, and they look very, very good. I mean, he got tunnel vision towards the end of the game and just said, you know what? Fuck it. Crawl down there somewhere. Hey, and it, it caused the Saints in the end, but it's the preseason. Who cares? But Lucas Crawl, man, had a really, really good game. He could have had a really, really good game the previous game, uh, but he just had a, a couple big drops. Uh, I won't say drops, but contested catches, and it's a big tight end. You're going to need to come down with those, especially if you want to make this roster. So uh, maybe he'll be on the outside looking in. Him and Jimmy Graham look like they're battling for a spot. I'll do my roster prediction in a different video. Um, but really, really good game from him. Then you got Jonte Kirkland. He's he's not going to make this team. But he had 10 targets, 5 catches, 63 yards. Maybe somebody else from another team seen something. Maybe he can fight for a practice squad um, spot with the Saints. I just don't know if that's going to happen because this receiver, you know, squad is just so deep but a good showing from him man made some plays out there look good uh at times so maybe you know he'll he'll find a spot in the nfl then you got jimmy graham three catches 34 yards and a touchdown he looks fantastic that one drop like i said him and james winston getting on the same page getting the, you know those completions going in the end zone boxing a guy out scoring a touchdown fake uh you know dunk on the field goal post it just restored the, the vibes from 2013 right there really really like that then you got other guys kawan baker at perry uh, with some catches down there but really, really good showing um, from that receiver group just all preseason, to be honest, man. Those guys really, really stepped up. Even the starters, when they were out there for that one drive, they really, really stepped up. The tight ends look good. Jawan Johnson, Lucas Crawl, Jimmy Graham. We didn't really see much of Foster Moreau this um, preseason, but they looked really, really good. Offensive line, the depth concerns me. The depth really, really concerns me, man. That offensive line, those backups do not look good. They do not look good. I'm just going to be honest. It was looking bad out there. So the starting unit... I think it's pretty good. The backup, I think we're six deep. We're six linemen deep. We're six linemen deep. Obviously, you got McCoy, Ruiz, Ramchick. You got Trevor Penning. You got Andres Peaton. You got James Hurst. Those are the six guys. After that, God help us all. I just know God help us all. It's, it's really, really bad. It's really, really bad out there. I don't, I don't think the, the offensive line depth is anywhere near as good as it needs to be. Man, you got to be nine or ten deep on the offensive line, and we're six. Now, I know you're not going to get 10 Pro Bowlers, 9 Pro Bowlers, but you want 9 pretty good guys. And I think we got 6 guys that are NFL caliber guys. We, we're going to need a couple more, in my opinion. So, we'll see We'll see how that plays out. Uh, defense now. There's also going to be some very, very big decisions on that defensive front, man. Um, a lot of guys stepped up. A lot of guys stepped up on defense. Let me get out, get out the way and start this with Jalen Smith. That, that dude looks like a, he looks like a dude. We'll just put it like that. He looks like a dude. He should be the third linebacker on this roster. He looks really, really good in this Saints defense. I don't know why he was still a free agent. I don't know if he's motivated or what, but he looks very, very well in this Saints defense right now. I think he's a lock to make this roster. I know I said I'm not doing, you know, 53-man roster predictions and stuff like that right now, but Jalen Smith's been that good that I can confidently say that he needs to be on this roster. I guarantee he needs to be on this roster. He's been that, that good for the Saints. All linebackers play well. All the linebackers really play well, man, from Sewell, Jalen Smith, uh, Nick Anderson, DeMarco Jackson. A lot of guys play well. It's going to be very, very interesting to see who makes the roster uh, with those guys. I really, really like the way the defense played this preseason, man. A lot of guys stepped up. You got Ugo Amadi. He's been, obviously, a, a fan favorite out there. He's played well. He's returned some kicks for the Saints. He's kind of done a little bit of everything. So, he's going to be an interesting uh, roster choice as well. I think he, he played really, really well. Jordan, How Jordan Howden has played well as well. You know, the rookie safety. Uh, draft pick but man I want to talk about the defensive line actually before I get to that defensive line Alante Taylor had a nice pass breakup had a nice couple plays in coverage I think the cornerbacks played well other than that one drop where Alante Taylor kind of got beat a couple times the corners played well pretty much this, this whole preseason um like I said it's preseason it's a lot of guys out there a guy's gonna make mistakes guys gonna get beat but for the most part man the Saints defense played well especially the secondary in this preseason you know a lot of offenses are not running a lot of complex things man so Hey, they play well with, with the things that were thrown at them. Uh, and I, I really, really like this defensive back crew that we have uh, in the building. I think it's going to be a tough, tough decision for some of those back-end guys. But the start guys, the high-caliber guys, going to be really good. Now, the defensive line. We didn't play our starters. Well, maybe we played our starters. Who knows? We didn't play our, you know, so-called starters right now. You know, Cam Jordan wasn't out there. Granderson wasn't out there. Kalen Saunders wasn't out there. Shepard wasn't out there. But there was a guy out there. He was a first-round pick. And now, we've seen first-round picks with the Saints from Davenport to Peyton Turner to whoever you want to name where they just ain't show up. I mean, it's preseason now. We ain't seen nothing yet. LeBron Brissy, oh, my God. He looks like, like a dude, like I've said already. He looks like he's special. He looks like he's special. He looks like he should have been a top-ten pick at that defensive tackle position. 
obviously was the number one player coming out of high school. That means nothing because you got to get to college and you got to produce. And it didn't really go as planned. He was injured. A lot of things going on off the field. Uh, so his college, you know, production just wasn't there. It wasn't the guy that everyone thought. So maybe he fell a little bit in the first round. But you go first round, you had to do something. You had to show something in college to still go first round. Um, obviously, he did that the Saints draft him. He looks really, really good. The spin move he had in the red zone, absolutely fantastic. A guy that big shouldn't be able to move that fast. That's kind of how Kalen Saunders. You put those two guys at defensive tackle, man, that's going to be the probably the, the most athletic bunch in the NFL. I think he's really, really good. I said he was going to start you know, early this preseason. Now I'm 100% sure he's going to start. But like I said, it doesn't really matter who starts at the defensive tackle position because you got Malcolm Roach, Ron Brissett, Shepard, and Kalen Saunders. It's going to be a rotation. They're probably somebody's gonna probably play 60%, somebody's probably gonna play 40%, 50-50. It's gonna go like that. But man, he looks really, really good on that defensive front. And I think you just get the start now, man. The Saints have, you know, we've missed on some first round picks on that D-line. We finally hit on one. Reward the guy for playing well in the preseason. I think he should be starting day one uh for the Saints. Then we can go to our second round pick, Isaiah Foskey. Hey, like I tweeted, welcome to the NFL, buddy. Nice of you to join us. Took you a couple weeks, but hey, he's a rookie. He's a rookie. A lot of people were wilding on him. Wilding, wilding, wild. I don't see anything. Sanks wasted the draft pick. Uh, trade him, cut him, this and that. Slow down. It's up two preseason games. Like, it's two preseason games. You're talking about cut him already when we took five years with Marcus Davenport on year three with Peyton Turner, who didn't. They haven't given us anything. You want to cut a, a rookie after two preseason games? Let's slow down. Yeah, he didn't play well. I'm with y'all on that. He played pretty bad. But slow down. Give the man some time to develop. He had a really, really good game. His best game of the preseason so far, and it makes sense. You're going to get better and better and better as a rookie. He's probably not going to be needed for the Saints this year. Probably won't be needed. Uh, if he can come, get on the field, and make some plays, great. Play some special teams, great. But he's probably not going to be needed. This is what happens when you have a good team. Um, you're probably not going to need some of these draft picks. But he played really, really well. And if he can continue to play like this, then maybe he'll get on the field for the Saints. Maybe in some pass rush situations, he'll be able to get on the field for the Saints. I did like the way he played. Uh, in this game, but he was really, really good for the Saints. Uh, like I said, you just got to keep getting better. Dennis Allen even said it. He's making strides, man. He's a rookie. It's going to take some time. We'll see how it plays out, but a really, really good showing from him out there. Uh, didn't, I mean, it's a lot of guys that played well. Malcolm Roach played played well this preseason. Um, you got the guy, Nico, who's trying to make this roster probably out of nowhere. He's played well this preseason, man. It's going to be really, really interesting to see what the Saints do on the defensive line. I do think that's the weakest part of our team is the defensive ends. Even though we got Cam Jordan after that, it's just like, good luck. So, I mean, I do think that is the weakest part of our team right now is those defensive ends. Maybe they'll address this deal. Maybe it's some roster cuts. You know, it's surprise cuts all the time. It's some surprise cuts all the time, and maybe a, a veteran gets surprise um, cut, and the Saints may, you know, go after him or something like that. But right now, I do think that defensive end is the weakest part of the team. But, man, I love this preseason. Wish we could close it out 3-0. and But, I mean, we have to go against the Texans starters to start the game with our backups. That's no excuse. It's preseason. Who cares if you want to lose? No one's going to remember if the Saints win 3-0 and or 2-1 and in the preseason once this season starts. So, hey, man, really, really good preseason. Now the game starts to count. Now the game starts to count. I know I've been absent for a couple of weeks, but, man, it's preseason. I got to get the rest because it's going to be a long, long season coming up. A very, very long season. Hopefully, it's long enough that we can go to the Super Bowl. So, we'll see what happens, though. We will see what happens. we got about two weeks leading up to this Titans game. I won't really talk about those specifics until next week because football is back. It's officially back. Real football is officially back, and I can't wait, man. Can't wait for the Saints to, you know, finish this season or start this season, I guess. Uh, let me know what y'all think about the preseason. Some of these guys in the comments below, man, as always, just the boot tragedies, and I'm out.